Good evening, dear Volodymyr, dear Joe, dear colleagues. For 943 days, the Ukrainian people has been reminding us of what it means to believe in and fight for their own freedom. And our co co cohesiveness has secured Ukraine the support it needed. This is a value to be protected if we want to restore peace in the heart of Europe. We have all done our own part, both at bilateral and multilateral level, and it is now necessary to increasingly systemize our efforts. The joint declaration adopted today, promoted by Italy as G7 presidency and joined by many, pushes this very direction. We as Italy signed the security agreement uh, and adopted up to the ninth package of military aid. We have focused on air defense and are now going to deliver the second Samti battery. This is net of the support Italy continues to provide across the board, including the protection of infrastructures, not least our contribution to restoring energy production capacity following the destruction of the Nova Karkova Dam. And as G7 Presidency, we will continue to work to implement the agreement on the use of interest from frozen Russian assets in Europe as a collateral for a 50 billion loan. Looking to the future of Ukraine also means thinking about reconstruction, which must be supported jointly with international financial institutions and the private sector. We intend to do our part hosting the Ukraine Recovery Conference in 2025. So, dear Volodymyr, we will continue to be by your side for as long as it is necessary. Our objectives, objective lies in putting an end to this war and helping Ukraine along its path towards a future, a future of peace, freedom and prosperity. So, as always, you can count on us. Thank you.